Rescuers in my Mahiu, Kenya, are tirelessly digging through mud with shovels to recover victims' bodies as the number of missing individuals continues to rise following heavy flooding and landslides triggered by recent rains. The Kenya Red Cross reported that at least 48 people lost their lives, with 84 others still unaccounted for after a mudslide and flash floods struck the town in central Kenya early on Monday. Survivors recounted harrowing experiences of water rushing in, sweeping away homes, vehicles, and even railway tracks. Ngachi, a resident, described how her family narrowly escaped the force of the water, while Tabitha Wanja mourned the loss of eight family members, including her seven-month-old niece. In total, over 169 people have perished in Kenya due to the heavy rains and flooding, forcing more than 190,000 individuals from their homes, including 147,000 in Nairobi. The president has issued warnings of further heavy rainfall in the upcoming days and urged citizens in landslide-prone areas to evacuate to prevent further loss of life. The military has been mobilized to assist in search and rescue efforts. The devastating impact of the floods extends beyond Kenya, with reports of casualties and displacements in neighboring countries like Tanzania and Burundi. The region is grappling with the effects of climate change, leading to more frequent and severe weather events. Meanwhile, in the Maasai Mara National Reserve, tourists were evacuated by air as hotels, lodges, and camps were flooded due to the rising waters. The reserve, known for the annual wildebeest migration, faced significant challenges as the river overflowed. The Kenya Red Cross conducted rescues, and the Narek County government deployed helicopters for evacuations. The ongoing rainy season has caused widespread destruction, with over 170 fatalities recorded since mid-March. The Metrology Department has issued warnings of continued rainfall, prompting temporary closures of major roads in Nairobi. The Kenya Red Cross continues to conduct rescue operations, including saving residents in Katinjala whose homes were flooded. The recent tragedy in Maimahiu, where dozens lost their lives, underscores the urgent need for preparedness and swift response to natural disasters. President William Ruto has emphasized the importance of proactive measures to safeguard lives and property, especially in flood-prone areas. As the nation mourns the lives lost and grapples with the aftermath of the floods, efforts are underway to provide assistance to those affected and prevent further tragedies in the future.